safety, environmental sustainability and the avoidance of congestion. These are the key demands of today's mobile society. Networking vehicles and transport infrastructure, the so-called vehicle-to-X communication, will increase traffic safety and improve traffic flow. The continuous exchange of information regarding traffic situations and immediate warning of approaching hazards will be an everyday part of our mobility in a few years' time. This will further increase the safety and comfort of road users. To enable this, the Converge Research Project, consisting of 14 partners from the automotive, electronics, telecommunication and software industries, as well as scientists and road authorities, was set up to develop a system which offers service providers and service users of intelligent traffic management systems both the technological possibilities and an economic framework for a safe information exchange. All participants have linked up to make a decisive contribution to achieving this with a project budget of approximately 18 million euros from 2012 to 2015. The blueprint for cooperative intelligent traffic systems is the Internet. In order to have different systems, technologies and organisations working together, common interfaces, regulations and standards are necessary. Their creation is the goal of the Converge project. Based on the results of previous research projects such as ACTIVE and SIMTD, a comprehensive architecture for communication, services and organisation is being developed. The vehicle to x systems network developed within Converge integrates and extends various communication systems so that distribution of information will be targeted according to geographical locations, groups or topics regardless of access technologies and message types. To do this, Converge defines an architecture in which participants interact with each other according to a proposed set of rules for organization and operation while placing particular emphasis on data security. Converge takes both technical and economic aspects into account in order to identify and consequently eliminate potential market barriers. The result is a proposal for a market-ready organization structure. The research project thus creates the basis for the organization and operation of a coordinated, open, extendable and decentralized vehicle-to-X system network. The Converge project has one special characteristic in that technology, IT security, organization and economy enjoy equal status, deploying existing concepts as much as possible. And looking ahead to the future, another remarkable benefit is revealed because groundbreaking technological developments, particularly in the communication field, are easily integrated into the Converge solution. The Converge project is primarily focused on developing an open communication architecture in which information will be shared, processed and transmitted back to road users based on global communication standards. Essentially, the entire architecture consists of four levels. At the very top, there is the governance level, which defines the fundamental rules and structures and ensures that these rules are implemented and observed. Below this is the back-end level, which determines the interaction of services and security components and combines the different communication technologies to form one hybrid communication system. The network level represents the link between the mobile participants and the back-end. This is where communication requirements are implemented as efficiently as possible based on existing standards. The mobility level represents the participating road users who both consume and provide the actual information necessary for intelligent traffic management. The vehicles themselves constantly send up-to-date and highly precise mobility data on traffic jams, roadworks or even hazards like wrong-way drivers, which will then in turn be used by other motorists 
to ensure the safe, intelligent transport of tomorrow. Building up this architecture requires innovative technologies. Creating or improving these technologies and then making them available to the whole consortium is one of the key tasks of all the project's partners. In the service directory, for instance, service providers will offer their services in order to be looked up by other participants. In simple terms, one could say that this is like a business directory for traffic services. Geo-messaging is needed so that information such as warnings about wrong-way drivers or accidents, for instance, will be distributed in a defined area. This provides participants with crucial information exactly when and where it is needed. The bridge functionality enables messages to be filtered so that particular updates of traffic situations or information on free parking spaces for trucks, for example, will be sent to predefined groups. To optimize message distribution, Converge makes use of hybrid communication. This means that communication systems like mobile networks and intelligent radio systems installed at the roadside, so-called roadside stations, are used in combination. The roadside station network is based on the Etsy ITS G5 Wi-Fi standard and enables messages to be exchanged between vehicles directly or between vehicles and roadside infrastructure. An essential factor in the success and acceptance of a project like Converge is how convincingly it provides answers to questions regarding data security and protection. For this, Converge provides a comprehensive end-to-end -end security architecture in which pseudonymous certificates are used which prevent the direct identification of users. This so-called pseudonymous usage of the system protects the privacy of all those involved while only allowing authorised persons to access the system network. In order to test both the architecture and the newly developed technologies in practice, Two scenarios have been identified in which the flexible information management, the speed of information exchange and the simple and transparent use of the various communication channels could be validated. One of these validation scenarios is the wrong-way driver warning system. In Germany, there are some 2,000 cases reported every year of cars driving in the wrong direction on a dual carriageway. Most of these incidents are over before radio stations even have the necessary information to broadcast a warning. Vehicle to X communication will speed up the warning by passing on the information about the one-way driver directly to the motorists concerned. The responsible road authority forwards this information immediately to the service providers which will in turn transmit the warning directly to all vehicles in the vicinity of the hazard via the mobile network or roadside stations. The innovative approach in this scenario is the fact that it is possible to improve applications without having to create any complex technical basis for doing so because the communication structures already exist. This way, a comprehensive network of wrong-way driver warning systems will be created. The second validation scenario will provide a range of benefits to all companies involved in the logistics process. Here, Converge lays the foundation for cooperative services with a flexible network of back-ends from various content and service providers. Precise information on exact arrival times is a key element in achieving smooth running processes. Legal stipulations on driving and resting times, coupled with economic interests, allow both drivers and haulage companies very little room to manoeuvre. Unforeseeable traffic incidents like traffic jams or a time-consuming search for parking spaces can make things really difficult here. If any kind of disruption occurs during the delivery, all parties involved will be informed of the change immediately and the new arrival time will be taken into account, either when allocating a time slot for a particular parking space for instance, 
or by providing an alternative parking location. These two validation scenarios are designed to show and test, among other things, just how easily service providers will be incorporated into the converged system and how the communication architecture will be further improved. Converge examines the future market for intelligent transport systems with the aim of creating a stable and economically feasible architecture which will ensure sustainable and economic cooperation. As a consequence, certain components will be realized as distributed functionalities so that economically unattractive tasks will be spread among different operators and the system as a whole will be stabilized. In both economic and technical terms, Converge is designed as a role-based system. This enables a high flexibility as the roles, taking certain internet principles as a blueprint, will be taken on by different participants at the same time. The regulations in place, as well as the technological approach, ensure that all participants work together cooperatively. This avoids unilateral actions and dependencies, both of which could be observed in the new economy. Converge takes international standards into account, such as open radio interfaces, and consciously allows a decentralized organization so that, with respect to a pan-European deployment, national conditions and regulations will also be integrated. This distributed architecture offers the opportunity to share operative tasks among many protagonists to keep dependencies on particular interest groups as low as possible. Converge is an open network which is not intended to be exclusive to a certain range of participants and does not stipulate which services are possible. Participants and services will therefore expand dynamically if they comply with the stipulated rules of behaviour. The Converge project creates the framework for new business areas in all matters dealing with transport communication and develops recommendations for action for new participants. The more that road users share their relevant traffic data, which will be processed by road operators and service providers, the more effective intelligent traffic management will become. Besides individual road users, the main beneficiaries will be businesses, because they will be able to operate more efficiently, society, because road safety will be increased and processes improved, and, last but not least, the environment, as pollution will be reduced. Converge. Increasing the safety of tomorrow's mobility.